It was a good YouTube. It's your boy MJ. Um, today is Sunday. I got a video that I'm dropping. It's my Yeezy collection. Some of you have seen it, but a lot of you are new. So go ahead and drop it for you so you can see what I got and some things that I will be adding to my Yeezy collection. I got I got some new things, so I'm going to record that probably sometime soon with that and my Boost collection as well. So make sure if you're new, go ahead and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I am doing a giveaway of the Yeezy Calabasas at 1,000 subscribers. But yeah, have a good Sunday, and I'll see you next time. Keep grinding, stay motivated, and I'm out. It was good, YouTube. It's your boy MJ back again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you my own personal Yeezy collection. Alright, so first up is going to be the Yeezy 350 in the Oxford Tan colorway. This is not my first Yeezy. I did have the OG 750s, but unfortunately, I prematurely sold them for a price I thought at the time was a good price, but now you see now. They're going for a little bit more, and at this time, I'd rather have had the shoe. So as you see, you have that Oxford Tan upper. One of my favorite parts about the 350s is the heel tab. The heel tab is, you know, a great part of the shoe for me for all 350s. On the medial side, you have that suede with the Adidas that is embossed right here. So with this shoe, I won this shoe on an online raffle at Villa. This was in Delaware. All right, next up is going to be the 750 Gum Glow. Uh, this shoe I did get off of adidas.com. Took me about 45 minutes to actually get this shoe. Right after I got it, I tried to get another pair from my brother. Unfortunately, it sold out. As you see here, you have that all suede upper. You have that gray strap, gray shoe strings, and you have that peach or and or glow bottom. Uh, the glow on this, you know, it's pretty good. I think it could be a little bit better, but you know, still a good shoe. And they did fix the zipper issue that they had on the first OG 750s, so I appreciate that. So yeah, this is the 750 Gum Glow. Now we have the Yeezy 350 V2 in the Beluga colorway. It's kind of a dispute of which V2 was actually first, because they did re-release the Power Blacks. But to me, this is the first 350 V2 because it's a new colorway. So you have that light gray, not dark gray upper, with that bright orange that's peppered throughout the whole entire shoe. And you have that bright orange stripe that says 350 Supply, or some say St. Pablo Loves You. Still undisputed, I really don't know what it means. Those shoestrings, you have that checkered shoestring and you have that translucent gray sole underneath. You see, you see you have that exposed boost. And yeah, this is probably one of my favorite V2s in my whole entire collection. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shoe. The 350 Beluga. Now we have the 350 V2s in the olive colorway. This shoe dropped in, I wouldn't say pack because it didn't drop all together like some of the, you know, Jordan packs. It dropped three different colorways on the same day. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the core reds or the coppers, but I was able to cop the olives on East Bay. Up next, you have the Yeezy 350 in the Oreo colorway. When this shoe first dropped, some said this was probably the worst colorway to drop. Uh, people were sleeping on it. I wouldn't say sleeping on it because you know the retailers are still going to get it, but it was going for like 350 to 450 on the first two weeks that it was released. To me, it's a very clean shoe. You have that all black upper, you have that uh, you have that cream stripe, and you have that black translucent sole with the exposed boost. Clean shoe, you can wear this for pretty much any outfit. To me, it's one of my top 350 V2s in my collection. Now, this cop is from Champ Sports. I was able to get this online. Took me a while to get it. As you know, the sites crash often, but you just have to be persistent with these, with these shoes. The sites crash often, their servers aren't the best. You gotta just keep trying. So you have that all black upper, you have the 350 supply in those red letters, and you have that red on the heel tab as well. This is a shoe you can wear with, you know, I wanna say every outfit, but still a shoe that you can wear with most outfits because the shoe is basically black. Um, to me, the core reds with the stripe is more of a bread colorway. This has a, you know, a very little bit of red. So I would call the other ones breads. This is just a little bit of red sprinkled in. Now, what we have here, like my favorite 350 V2 out of all the V2s, pretty much out of all 350s, other than the Turtle Doves. I still think Turtle Doves is king of all 350s, and that's the Zebra colorway. So, I do have both the February and the June release, and I was fortunate enough to get both for retail. One is off the Confirm app, 
and one is off of the Foot Locker app. First they dropped in February and the resale was around $2,000. Anywhere ranging between 15 to two grand. Uh, after they announced the re-release, the resale value plummeted. Now you can get them around 450 to 550 if you, if you know who you're talking to. But this for me was a must cop and I, I had to double up. You have that gorgeous upper, you have that nice little zebra nose going on that Madagascar look as you can see right here. You have that red 350 supply. And one of my favorite things, as you know, as I've said before, is that hill tab with that black dots around the side. And you have that white translucent sole and that exposed boost. This shoe, to me, if you're going to collect the 350s, man, you have to get this shoe. This is a must, must, must cop. I'm glad I was able to get both for retail because, as you know, resale value will go up for Yeezys. They say resale value is dead. Yeezys are dead, blah, blah, blah. They're not dead. It's just that they restock. Now what we have here is a summer favorite, the Yeezy 350 V2 in the cream colorway. I had to have to double up. This one, once again, got off of the Foot Locker app and I got this in New York. Um, I hit on all three apps, actually, the Foot Locker, Foot Action, and the Champs app. I think it's based off how much you spend throughout the year and you accumulate, you know, like a head start for those apps. So luckily I was able to get these for retail as well. Now, this is my double up pair. As you can see, this pair is from Size, located in Amsterdam. I think they have several locations in different areas. So for this pair, it has a little story behind it. I was unable to get this pair, obviously, because I was not in Amsterdam. But I did have a friend who was located in Amsterdam. Of course, you know, I'm on military duty, so I can't just go across the country whenever I feel like doing so. So luckily, I was able to send him my information. They were understanding of my situation and they got me this pair. So this pair all the way from Amsterdam is my double up pair of the Yeezy 350 in the cream colorway. Really, really glad I got this pair. So for this pair, this means a little bit more than the pair that I got uh, locally in the area after I got off work. See, to me, I'm a sneaker here that's all about the little things. So as you can see here, this is the receipt from Amsterdam with that tax exemption stamp. So if I wanted to, I would have to turn in the receipt Turn in the documents and I would get the tax back that, was, that I paid for the shoe. Not gonna happen. I wanna keep my receipt for this pair of shoes. V50 Creams. Alright people, final Yeezy in my collection. I know it's been a bit of a long ride, but this is public enemy number one. Probably the most hated Yeezy besides the crate boots which nobody buys. People compare this shoe to the Reebok Classic even though Adidas does own Reebok so technically they can do what they want, right? So this is the Yeezy Power Phase. In that Calabasas colorway, you have that gold Calabasas that you can see here. You have that green Adidas that is uh, stamped right there. You have that red trefoil for the Adidas, I guess it's like a leaf. That's what I call it, the Adidas red trefoil right there. Pretty simple shoe. You have pretty much an all cream leather. The leather on the toe box to me is where the best leather quality is located on this shoe very 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 soft leather you have that adidas hip right here on the back with the trifle on the bottom same colored sole then you have adidas as you can see right here on the inside of the shoe very 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 simple shoe to me it's a great summer shoe i don't understand why this shoe is slept on why people hate this shoe i don't know to me it's a great summer shoe you can wear this shoe with pretty much any outfit yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you're new, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you're notified of the videos that, are up to, that I upload throughout the week. And please share the video. Uh, so I'm currently editing the video for tomorrow right now. It's Sunday. Like I said before, hope you have a good Sunday. If you're going to school tomorrow, make sure you keep grinding. Staying motivated. School sucks. I know, but it must be done. So, um currently working on my master's degree and I know school sucks it's a headache but if you're in middle school high school college just keep pushing because it's only going to get more and more competitive in the world that we live in so a uh, bachelor's degree is going to end up being equivalent to a high school diploma in the near future which it probably it already is somewhere so like I said man just keep grinding stay motivated and I'll see y'all tomorrow